What is up, my tribe members? I swear, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I hope you're in your right mind. We're back with another video. And guess what? I'm swinging on a six foot swing in a park underneath these barren trees with these gray, foggy skies. Looking at a huge limestone rock with the birds around me. Um, and I had to do this video. So if you guys can hear some cars or traffic in the background, I apologize in advance, um, but I'm outside. And I wanted to give this video to my tribe members because it was asked, this is a question, <laughs> answer to a question. <laughs> no edits on this video. There was an answer to a question from one of our tribe members, D. Muhammad. She has been rocking with us forever. Um, soon I'll be giving away um, tribe giveaways to those people who have been able to accept me and my flaws, been able to understand what it is I'm trying to say, and they've been rocking with me for a long time. Sometimes soon I'll give, do a, a tribe giveaway, and I'm sure D. Muhammad will be one of those. All right, we lost audio there for a second, but let me finish what I was saying. <laughs> um, I want to take you into a story so I can teach you by way of story before I give you the actual lessons from the elder in regards to intuition. A young lady, 28 years old, married for a year, is coming home from work. She stopped by the grocery store to pick up some groceries so she can prepare dinner for both her and her husband. But something that entire day has been off. She didn't know what it was. She couldn't quite put a finger on it. Something was off. She's at home preparing mashed potatoes, and she's spinning the pot, spinning the mashed potatoes in the pot, spinning the mashed potatoes in the pot. And she felt something was wrong deeply wrong. Now she knows what's going on. She doesn't know how she knows what's going on. She doesn't, she's not too sure what exactly is going on, but she knows it's in regards to her husband. So she runs to the phone. She calls him. He doesn't pick up. She calls him. He doesn't pick up. Pick up. She texts him. Call me back now. She calls, she texts, she calls, she texts. No answer, okay? She waits. She's trying to get, you know, calm her nerves. She continues to try to prepare dinner, but something just wasn't right. She couldn't put her finger on it. Something was not right with her husband, okay? She's constantly calling, and then she thought, let me call his best friend. She calls his best friend, have you seen so-and-so? I have not. She calls his mother. Have you seen so-and-so? I have not. Now she knows something is up. All right? That is intuition. All right? Now she is sure that something is not right. Okay? Now it hadn't passed his time for, to come home. So that wasn't, it wasn't out of the ordinary for him to not be there at the time because she was still preparing dinner, but there was something that she was feeling the entire day and she was sure that it was with her husband. Okay. Now the day went on, nine o'clock came, he comes home. He comes home okay. He's intact. Everything is fine. So what was it that was bothering her? He comes in the door. Everything is fine. There's nothing wrong with him. He's intact. What, what was going on? Somebody doesn't want this video to get out, but guess what? It's going to get out. Sorry that we lost audio there for a second. In any event, he was intact when he came home. He then tells his wife of one year, I married too soon. I don't want this marriage. I don't want this thing. I don't want to be married. I'm too young. I'm too young is what he told her and her heart broke into a million pieces. That is intuition. But here is something that I want to teach you. Okay. And this is what I want to teach D. Muhammad from her question. She asked the question, Karima, 
If you're saying that intuition is supported by estrogen, what happens if a woman is going through menopause, right? Or no longer producing estrogen? How does she manage her intuition skills? That question was so good. I had to do this video. I didn't care where I was going to be. I was going to record this video and get it uploaded for, for D. Muhammad, right? Because it's such a good question. So I want to take you back a few steps, okay? We're going back to the, the, the chapter on intuition and how to develop it and all those things. You must understand that while you are in your mother's womb, you are being bathed in that hormone estrogen. It is estrogen that helps develop every major organ in your body. Your heart, your lungs, even your brain and how it functions. Yes, for sure we get support from testosterone, but estrogen is responsible for that. Your mother is bathing you in that hormone while you are seated in her womb. You are being created and developed. You're being flooded with that because it is it's responsible for developing you, all right? Now, as you're getting bathed in that while you are cooking inside of your mother's womb, <laughs> all right, you're getting everything that you need to live a life fulfilled. So regardless if a woman goes through menopause, okay, so she's not producing her own set of hormones, right, or producing it at the rate that she did when she was 18 or when she was 21, because that does change, right? Hormonally, you change. There's, there's, there's hormonal imbalances that happens as we get older and all of those things. But there's something I want you to remember here. And D. Muhammad, here is the rub. Your, your estrogen... And, and how much of it you are producing has nothing to do with the fact that your mother has given you all that you need. I hope that makes sense. All that you need. You have a heart that works. It pumps blood. You have lungs that work, helps you breathe. You have a brain that thinks, yes, allows you to think. And it does so many other things. And it's also responsible for what? In the intuitive nature of women. Yes? Now, I don't know if I'm going to have access to an editor that will pop up some things here. I think I said that already. But if, if we have an editor today, please pop up some things here that will help them understand where I'm going or what I'm talking about. But for the most part, D. Muhammad, everything that you need to be a mother, all right, You've gained that while you were in your mother's womb. I'm talking about all the eggs you ever needed. You have that in your mother's womb. Life is so brilliant and so amazing that even when you're going through your own changes through your own life and you are facing perhaps menopause or perhaps you're having um some hormonal imbalances, it doesn't change the fact that you are already ready. Nature is assuming that um, you you are you will be in need of these things, so it gives it to you. All right. So I don't want you to worry about, oh, my goodness, what happens as I'm getting older? What happens if I'm changing? What happens if my body's changing hormonally? I'm changing. How do I? No, no, no. How you develop your intuition is right there on those pages. All right. Right there on those pages. And here's where I want you to remember now that you're studying. OK, D. Muhammad and all those who are listening. What I want you to remember is, is that same intuitive energy that allowed that young woman to know that something was wrong with her husband on that day she was stirring the mashed potatoes. On that day, she knew something was off, but she couldn't put a finger on it. She wasn't quite sure in the earlier part of the day. That same energy that lets you know that something is wrong, that intuitive nature could also let you know when something is right. But no one's taught us how to use that. The same intuitive energy that you use to suspect a cheating lover or a friend who betrayed you or that kind of energy that makes you suspicious about someone. It's the same intuitive energy that lets you know whether or not you can trust someone. 
of whether or not you got yourself a good lover, of whether or not you got yourself a good husband and a good friend. But see, we use intuition only as a way to protect us. We have yet to learn how to use intuition to set us up for life. And that's the purpose of this book. <laughs>